to show you how to crimp a bead um, onto a piece of fishing line. You could do this on um, wire if you have beading wire that's fine as well. You could also put it on um, different types of rope and it all depends on the size of your crimp bead. This is obviously a very very small crimp bead but you can get larger ones. Um, you can get rope crimps, you can get end crimps that are wider um, so just dependent on the project. So if I wanted to crimp these two, this one piece of fishing line into two strands, I can use this crimp bead. If I want to just crimp it with one loop at the end, same thing, I can use this crimp bead. So let me show you how to do that. It's very simple. You just slide your crimp bead on, take the end of your fishing line, put it back through that bead, and depending on the size of the loop that you want, so if you want it to be really, really small, um, then you're just gonna move that crimp bead up closer to the end of the loop. If you want a big loop, then certainly move the crimp bead down farther. So let's scoot it a little bit closer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pliers. You can actually purchase um, crimping pliers. These are just needle nose pliers. Flat nose pliers work well too. And I'm just going to squish that bead, crimping it onto the fishing line. So now that I've done that, you can see that I have a loop. And what this does is it gives a stopping point for my beads that I want to string on my fishing line. It also gives me a loop that I can connect a jump ring in my clasp to. So this is a very, very common um, thing that we use here in our jewelry class to begin stringing on beads for whatever project it is that we are doing. So you can trim off the extra there. And I always encourage my kids to, when they slide their beads on, to make sure that it goes on that little end as well so that's not sticking out. So that's how you crimp a bead. To view more tutorial videos and information on our projects, please visit our website at www.cnhsart.com.